Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm Chris. In this video, I will show you how to use Key and GC1000 and start up a Modobus DCB server. On the other side, I'll use Backup Trinket TF6250 to build a Modobus DCP IP client that I'll show you how to access the register inside GC1000. Let's start. Okay, before we go into the tutorial, I would like to uh, give you a very basic introduction of the wiring of input and output in this tutorial. So here is the terminal of the uh, my GNS G1000 safety controller, and here is my safety relay. Actually, what the signal that will input into my G1000 is the normally open, uh, normally open contact and only close contact to show the current status of the uh, to get the current status of the safety relay, and also the emergency stop with the uh, one uh, one point two. One uh, two pair wiring. This input is wiring to my G one thousand controller also, but there is a re reset button to let me to reset my whole system. For the uh, output wiring, I only have uh, a output signal to to uh, trigger my coil of the safety relay, and also I have two lamps to show the status of my system now. Let me go a little bit more deep to the back of TF6250 library, CCP library. In this tutorial, I will only use these two function blocks. The first one is fb underscore fb REGS. It will provide a function to you to implement a uh, implement a client. I'm using a client to uh, access the multiple TCP with multiple uh, with access the multiple TCP server with the function called free. It is a uh, reading the input register. And on the side, this is uh, fb underscore fb write out ETS. It is a function block allow you to um, use function clock 16 to write the holding register or some new value to the holding register. And then for the mode, uh, for the GS1000 side, um, the mode bus server is only support tcp ip and uh, with server function only the maximum client connection is 4 and you only can use port 502 and for the function code you can use 0 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 10 and um, for the mode bus register it, you they have they provide so many registers to you to access different uh, any information that inside g1000 and I, it's not possible to show um, to access each all these register in my tutorial. And uh, I choose this one. It's so hex one hundred to one hundred three. This four register, you can write the um, communication input to the G seven thousand by using uh, logic sixteen. For the input register, I choose this T O D one four to D one five. It can get the G G seven thousand operation status. And how many numbers or error is happening now? And this 252 to 255 is the communication output. And this is 700 to 73 uh, f You can get the project name. Okay, I think my ex basic explanation explanation in here is enough. And uh, I will uh, before I go into the tutorial, I also turn on my camera and then show you the real hardware in my tutorial. Here is the real hardware that I will use in this tutorial. And as you see, this is the power supply, and this is a network uh, switch. And this is the Kian's G1000 safety controller. And here's the uh, emergency stop and the reset bottom. And this reset bottom, we also have a uh, lamp output. And here is also other lamp. These two lamps will show the current system status. And this yellow one is the safety relay, and all these. Uh, bottom and lamp the safety relay all these signals wide into my gc1000 controller and here this side you see three cables is connecting to this hub one cable is one long cable is directly connected to this gns gc1000 safety controller and this one this white cable is connected to a pc that with trinket runtime installed and this blue one, I think maybe not very easy to see. This blue one is connecting to my PC. 
Okay, very simple uh, introduction for the real hardware. And now we will open the GC configurator, configurator to create my our Keynes program first. Let's start. Okay, now we start the GC configurator. It is a software to program your safety function in the GC1000 Keynes safety controller. So we can start. The first thing I would like to create some safety input device. So go to the input device, safety input device. Then first one, I will like to drop the emergency stop switch. So drop it here and click terminal to define which uh, terminal that you need to wire. In my case, I will write to SI0 and SI1 is safety input 0 and safety input 1. Okay. And then I will have a safety input. So it will be other safety input. Drop in here and also click which one, which uh, contact, con uh, which contact or say uh, which terminal that you would like to connect into. In my case, I will connecting to SI2 and SI3. Let's do the same one to uh, the safety input. So this one will be connected to SI4 and SI5. Okay. And finally, I have a uh, reset switch. It will be connecting to uh, SI6. Okay. But input is finished, but it's not good because uh, it may be better to edit the label to be easy to understand. For example, it this one to be SO SNO two O O five underscore N C input N C is mean uh N C is mean uh normally close. So I have other one called SNO two O O five N O input. Same one, okay. And this one is just give it in with a switch because the mean is same. Okay, for the output device, uh, I would like to uh, in drop a SL. SL means safety output. Okay, here, I my safety is connecting to SO0 and SO1. And the right click code details, you can get uh, set more details. For example, uh, use reset or not, or uh, use EMD, EDM input, or to enable the self uh, dynamic stick of output. But in this case, in my tutorial, I will just uncheck it. Uh, the next one, I will uh, use some output from the lamp. For example, AUX then go to out and other output. I will drop the output here. One, two, three. Gray. So the first one will be connected AO0, AO1, AO2. And then, okay, I will then we will give a great label. AUX, for example, this one is uh, SNO2005 off. And this one's AUX, SNO2005 ready. And then this one is uh, SNO2005 Y51. Well, just some, there's a name for trigger my, my safety rate. Okay, so for the input device and output device, I conflict it. So the next step is we need to configure the Ethernet setting. Go to options, Ethernet, and drop the basic setting here. And default there's nothing setting inside. You go to you press this icon or double click it. And then uh, ch check the transfer communication setting checkbox. And the end of the IP you would like to use. In my case, 192.168.5.31. Then press OK. Great. The, a, the Ethernet setting is finished. And in the next download, this setting will be downloaded to the GC converter, not GC controller. And then we need to use the mobile TCP functions, as I mentioned before. It is used in my tutorial. So go to Mobus, drop it here. Done. So the Mobus function is finished. And then uh, I need to add some register for using in, inside my program. So go to the system, register drop in here so they register field as a field or a register um, setting uh, register is defined here double click here so we can add your uh, register here at bottom 
So I just add some register first. In this case, I use four register. And I just drop it to here. It'd be easier to see. Hey, come on. Okay, here. Okay, for this one is RO. You can RO E stop E stop trigger. Okay. And the next one is uh, is what? The next one is a uh, RU 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 S N O two zero zero five and coil and coil off. And the other one is a uh, RU S N O two o o five two o o five and uh, on. Finally, I have a register go out hard bit done. Okay, so for register is created in my project, and then the next one we need to add some combination input and output. This is this uh, register is for you to translate to exchange data between uh, Trinket and G one thousand. So first one, I will have two communication input here. So I'll go to the communications, communication input, and other input. I just drop two in here, one and one other here. Great, and I'll just good good a good name. For example, this one is C O uh, to C O M zero zero, and this is a reset command. Great, and zero one is uh, this zero one. Zero, zero, one, yes. Is the hard bit. Okay, and then I'll use the output. I'll drop four. Save the output here. One, two, three, four. And then, and also, could they could name with them? Come, 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 come. I, I should put the input here, I think. Come in. This one's come in, right? It is also come in, and here is come out, right? So come out, come out zero 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 is e stop status e stop, and then come out come out zero one is uh, S N O off. S S N O off and comma O zero two is S N S N O on. I think I'm missing O in here. Okay, finally is a uh, com com O zero found zero three. It is a uh, hard H E A R D bit. Great. Okay, so for the conversion to finish, I define the input device, save the input, save the output, I config the Ethernet setting and the IP, and just also config the communication input and output. Then we can change the program side. Then we have a uh, small Dropbox, a small uh, pop up to show you what I like to use the input output device and let the system to input in your program. I just know. Okay, then we can do it myself now. Just press, press, click the plus button to add more view here. Okay, the first one I would like to get the safety signal in here. So then I will uh, gonna get the safety signal. I can translate to the register. Okay, and then uh, while the register safety input is okay. Then I can uh, turn on the safety relay, right? Makes sense. And then uh, I would like to reset my pro, my set my um, my safety relay if there's any problem. So I put it reset bottom in here. I also can reset from outside. So I have a reset command here. And I put it all logic in here because there's two condition. So here, drop to here, drop to here, and then uh, 
I will reset reset so it should be uh, uh, this one yes I think it's this one it's output here okay this one sorry okay it works from here done okay then uh, I would get would like to arrange the signal for example the first is the NC the N signal it means that um, the safety color is not turning on so I will uh, use this output AUX as NO2005 turning off and also I would like to pass this signal to the register not here not this one off and uh, I think it's here here okay off it is off it's off okay and on the other side if the the NO contact is turning on it means that it means that register is uh, that situation is okay for any problem so I will turn it on the other lamp okay drop it and also I will open the register register here okay done the basic uh, uh, control phone is finished I will uh, output the emergency stop signal the register and if the e-stop is no problem then I will turn on the safety relay and uh, I can also reset my safety relay from reset bottom or uh, from, uh, from complications and if the NC contact is turning on I will turn on the lamp and return the signal to the mobile TCP client but also the end of contact so and then I press one more page but this is not a uh, uh, must but I think spare the program page it's more easy to understand I in this page I will return a right signal to the communication output so the first one is e-stop e-stop here so what we'll do I will uh, our e-stop and then drop it so the e-stop signal will pass to the combination zero zero and then uh, and then uh, I will use the the what the uh, the uh, off here okay off and uh, on okay and the heartbeat I think it's something like this okay and uh, I also would like to read the heartbeat from outside so I put a heartbeat here then I drop a heartbeat here drop a heartbeat here and uh, okay great and what's that this is SNO off so it should be this one drop here and then this is SNO on on is uh, use this signal and for this is a uh, habit okay I put a always on here always on always on and then I put a pause pause generator great I have a great function here drop to here the drop to here done okay then we save our project okay so I will project is tutorial GC1000 mobus yeah English yeah okay then we can try to transfer our project yes yes okay no no end error so it slow slow, slow slow down slow down approve okay just a second do you want to turn to GC to run mode sure great let me see the camera okay so what should we do now the first one is uh, I will try to turn on the I try to uh, press the e-stop button just a second okay now the e-stop is turned on and you see the SN SLA is turning off okay I will see it now
Okay, I will reset and now I'll press the reset button. Okay, now you can see the reset button. Now this lamp is turned on, it means uh, the color is turned on. And uh, this time, this lamp is turned off. Okay, let me press this button again. As you see this time, this lamp turned on and this the lamp is turned off. This lamp is turned off. It means the coil is in the off status. Okay, so the project in Kinsa is finished and it works. And we check the result in the local local side. So the next one, I we will use Trinket to build a multiple TCP client and then to remote control and get the status to uh to or from the gc1000 controller okay then we can go to the next part okay now we open the string cat uh, project this is the time to use tf6250 to implement a multiple tcp client the first one we need to do is uh already add the license inside because um, you are not actually directly using the DF6250, you're just using the library. So uh, maybe Trinket cannot detect the system and automatically generate the license. That's the reason that you need to go to the system license and go to management license and search DF6250, I think is in uh, here. Yes, and then check this bottom. And then go back here so a license is added in your trinket project in your trinket project and you automatically generate generate the license in the next time okay so and then i close it close it and now we can add a plc project so go to plc and add plc and choose standard plc as your template Great, now the PLC project, the PLC project is created. We will open our project and go to voice and main. Okay, so I'll zoom this back because my computer the things face is small. The first one I would like to show you is I would like to add the uh Modbus TCB library. So we'll right click here, add library. I will search uh, MB read and MB read. So just click which one is OK and OK plus OK. And then the Modbus library is inserted in your project. Great. Now we can define some variables to use in this program, this project. Function, function block. OK. The first one is uh, MB read. And be read, so it should be FB and be read, read, uh, read uh, registers. So we have a write also and be FB and be write register. Okay, and then we have a buffer. So this buffer is for us to uh, template store the data that we will write to the register or we read from the register so we read, so read buffer it's array with uh, 99 elements of uh, of hmm? why here okay of works and we have a write buffer write buffer it's also be array 0 to Nine nine of work great, and then we will define the data that we get from uh, GC one thousand. The first one is a uh, project name. Yao B R O J E C T N A M E. Okay, it should be W string, and then we will have a uh, GC one thousand normal. Uh, running, we run this first. Running, running GC1000 normal. It should be boo type. And then we have a GC1000 
number of errors numbers of errors oh, yes. it should be a uh, work or oh, integer something so so okay oops okay and then we will have a uh, e stop status and then we will have sno205 on sno205 off and that's off okay and then we will have a command that you should send back to gc1000 but in this case it's just a b reset e s e t okay and then uh, we will program pro have some variables for program pro control for example i step and then we have a time v timer t on 2 t on 3 bow is t on okay great okay now the first we define all the variables and the next time we can create a program the first one I would like to create the initialization program so I go to main and right click at actions a i a i n i t okay then uh, t on one dot pt is equal to t sharp one second I would like to define the preset time of the timer is the t sharp one second also and then t on one t on one two two three dot pt is equal to t sharp one second also I think it should be five seconds more better because it should be a, a timeout timer okay and uh, t on one in is equal to uh, not t on two dot q and t on two in is equal to uh, t on one dot q great so this is just a very simple program to create a uh, pause one one second on one second off in st program but you can use it create in ladder in any program any language that you like Okay, then we will go here to A I N I T. We would like to call this program. The second one is a uh, I will like create one program. It's a read a read uh, a read data. Okay, so it is a program to read the data. I think to read the input register from uh, to from the G one thousand. So the first one you have used the case statement statement case i step of um, okay zero is I would like to install initializations for my data for example the IP address is one nine two one dot one six eight dot five dot twenty one. Okay, and uh, second one is the TCP port. As I told you before, it's prefix a file file two, and for the and then we have a unit, and unit is equal to one. Just like keep it to one. One is okay, and then mb read dot cp length is equal to size of size of read buffer. So this is just a. Um, the parameters you need to pass in is how big of your read buffer, and then we also have a uh, p dot p distinction address is equal to adr read of buffer, and uh, then we also like to ins initialization with initialization for the output address for the, uh, for the mb write, it should be one same. Okay, and then uh, we will have the mb write dot and tcp port is equal to file two, and then and mb write dot and unit id is equal to one, and then uh, we will have the mb write dot cp link is equal to size of 
Ray buffer. Ray. Ray buffer. Good. <coughs> then we have a FB. Right. Dot PSRC source is equal to ADR. Ray buffer. So this one is same, and the source address is the variables you need to write into the holding register. What's the address? You then you just use ADR functions to get the address. Don't take care too much. Then far we we would like to turn off the turn off the uh, read function block. So we we'll execute a force one time. And then we also turn all the data to false and also the project name to nothing to make sure that we are not getting the old data. Okay, then after that we can change the step to 10. Okay. Then now we go to step 10. What we will do here, so I will mb read dot n mb address. It should be 2 by 2. It is the uh, output just output communication, communication output that from the in the GC1000 side. Then we will have a mb mb read equal this to 4. We we'll read 4 register. Then we read, and then we can uh, execute. I think the parameter is enough in here. And then uh, we will uh, make some component competition. If mb read dot cp read is not equal to zero, or uh, mb mb read dot b error, then. Uh, we can turn off my our function block and be read b ex is equal to false and then uh, we will like to compare here if mb read dot cp read cp length cp read is not equal to zero it means that uh, there's no Error while we read the in register from the multiple TCP server, then we can get the data. So e stop status is equal to read buffer zero dot zero and uh, SNO two o five of is read buffer zero dot one SNO two o five on is equal to read buffer we buffer and uh, we buffer why why we buffer we buffer and uh, not two and then we turn to step to try to great and but if there is an error while we read the input register from the uh, from the Wolfpack TP server, that what we can do in here is we can uh, go to step go to step what nine hundred. This should be a some error processing. So here is very clear. We will define which input register you like to read how many you need to read then we can execute the functions the function block and if the result is not equal to zero it means it's more than some data is received from the world of TCP server or there's an error then we can turn it we can cancel the or we can in we initialize the function block and then if the CB read is not equal to zero it means that they are we receive the data from our TCP server. Then we can uh, encode the data and then put in the variables we need. And then we can go to step 20. 
and otherwise we will go to step 900 if there's any error okay so in step 20 what we will need to do we will just have a quick check again we need to make sure that bc is not the, the oops the function block is not in busy status then uh, I would like to clear the read buffer again we can write the for loop in here in any time but I think it's not good I create a small function here okay here functions okay fc clear array so here is the functions I would like to do is to create a to clear the array input the array so I just change the in out and then I'll define a array that we've not no we've not is that it's not a fixed length with a without fixed length of word and then I'll have a i is for me to make the, the loop in the int type so what we do in here is for i is equal to lower bool i o one two upper i o one two and then i o i is equal to equal to 60 sharp 0 okay great so in these functions it, we will receive an input that with no fix of a uh, well it means any length of array in work format that you can pass into my functions and then we will use these two functions to get the length the index from what to what and then we will loop it and then put a zero inside great so we go here then we create the functions so we can call fc clear call this one fc clear array and io is equal to read buffer great then uh, you can go to step 30 okay so step 30 okay step 20 okay now go to step 30 so step 30 also same in here but just use the r read r the register so in the 700 if i will 64 so this reference to kin's menu you see what is this but i will tell you here is the project name then we can tr trigger the true then after the trigger the true then we can uh, do the same process not zero not error we we'll come back to zero then uh, here so it be 14 and this is be zero one so what do we do in here is uh, we'll use memory move and member oops and the m e o v t memory move and for the Dixon is uh, ADR project name and from read buffer and then uh, and it's equal to 64 plus uh, multiply to 2 okay it, right then we we'll go to step 14 but if there's error we we'll go to 901 then after that we will go to 14 to create a buffer so here is 14 and here is uh, 15 so um, after here we can go to step 15 here 15 okay what we will do in here is uh, copy the same one here and uh, this time we'll read the register 214 is we read the status of GC1000 inside we only use with two works uh, to register and then we do the same logic in here copy in here and then paste 
Okay, so uh, I will not use this one, this part, and uh, go to the step 16, and here's 902. So what we will do in here is uh, GC1000 running is equal to read buffer 0 doc 0. GC1000 normal is equal to read buffer 0 dot 1 buffer buffer and you have a GC1000 number of error is equal to read buffer 1 great then go step 16 great then here is step 16 Okay, so we we'll just do the same thing. Check the check the is the error or not. If no, we we'll go back to step ten, make a loop, and then for the error, line hundred, line one, line two, then we just go back to uh, step is equal to zero. Maybe you can make some um, in the real application. I think you make some error processing for example to retry or to export the error code something but in this tutorial I just look back and then go back to main and a read data okay then the next one I write to write the data right click at the actions a write a write w r i t e okay so what we do we do in here okay right buffer zero dot zero is equal to b reset and right buffer zero dot one is equal to t on three dot t on one dot q on one dot q okay and uh, we we'll write it to 100 you need to check the Yes, manual, but I will show it. I tell you, it's 100 is the input commission input state input uh, register. And uh, to saving and MB address is equal to 100. And uh, I will uh, write 4. And then uh, PXQ, I will write to execute my program if the MB write is not PC. Great. Then finally go back here to a a write data. Okay. Then last one I would like to set the a b c a uh, timeout timeout t i m e t o m. Okay. So I have to use a timer here. I in is equal to mb read dot b b s y then if t on three dot q then uh, we i would like to uh, put back the zero to reset it falsely reset the uh, read process falsely done and then uh, go here a b c i think it's a uh, Timeout, timeout. Okay, very good. Program is done. Now we can uh, go through one more time. Here is the initializations and of the timer, and create a generate a one second on, one second off, pause. Here is a flow to read the data, to read the input register from G, uh, GC1000. And uh, here is the timer timeout setting, and here is the program to write the holding register. Okay, then we can uh, download the program to our trinket. Should um, right second. Okay, I think I passed my. Plus it. 
Okay, just wait a second. Mm, well, there's a error. There's an error here. Okay, where? And ah, uh, yeah. I would like I miss a here. Okay, let me try to down the project again. Great. Time to run more again. And then uh, log in. And then start bottom. You see now it's flashing the data. So it means now the these for some here this these these stop status is not true, but my safety relay is turning off. Then for example, we'll go to write method. It's also writing without any error. Okay. Now the first one will I will open the camera. You see the status of uh, our our GC one thousand. So we'll go to read where's read read and uh, close this one. I will open the camera in here. Great. So the first one I will press the east button. Now you see east stop status, it turned to true, I turn to false, and I now I will return it. And you see the east stop status return to true, and then I'll press the reset button here. And you see SNO2005 on, with the both you turn it true. Okay, now then slow down, we can see we read the project, read the project name. And finally, I would like to reset the G1000 from Trinket. So I will press the east bottom, east top bottom again. And I release it, and I will go to the writing part, and I will turn on. Okay, I will turn on the B reset. Okay, and then I turn it off again. And then open the camera, then you see now the relay safety relay is reset and turn on. Okay. So I think it's finished now. I think my tutorial here is enough. After you finish this tutorial, you know how to configure Modobus TCP server in the Kian G1000 safety controller. But also you know how to use TF6250 trinket functions. I hope you like my videos. Like my videos. If you have any problem, please feel free to comment and email to me. And uh, Please share, like, and subscribe my channel and video. And I hope I can see you in the next video. So, peace, have a good day. Bye bye.